all right you are welcome again we are still talking about ordinary differential equation and in this lesson we are considering formation of ordinary differential equation let's take a look at this question we are asked to form the differential equation corresponding to the following number one we have y is equal to ax plus x squared number two we have y is equal to a sine open bracket 3x plus b number three we have y is equal to a plus b exponential minus 2x then number four we have y is equal to exponential minus 3x number five we have y is equal to cos 4x so these are the questions we are going to consider in this video all right please watch carefully and pay attention it's very simple and it's going to help you all right good now let's go number one we have y is equal to ax plus x squared you know here let's take a look at this carefully we see that we have only one constant so as we have one constant that tells us that we are going to differentiate just once and then we try a possible best to remove the constant which is a all right good now let's see what we're going to do we have y is equal to a x plus x squared let's call this equation one right good the first thing let's go let's differentiate this for the first time when we differentiate it for the first time we're going to have dy dx equal to a plus 2x when we differentiate ax is going to give us a and when we differentiate x squared is going to give us 2x so this is the first derivative let's call this equation 2 okay good now in this equation 2 we have dy dx equal to a plus 2x let's make a the subject if we try to make a the subject that means we're going to take 2x to the other side. So when we take 2x to the other side, we're going to have dy dx minus 2x is equal to a. We call this equation 3. Alright? Good. Now, here we know the value for a. Okay? We know the value for what? For a. In this equation 3. And we, then we say that a is equal to dy dx minus 2x. Let's substitute this into equation 1. You know, in equation 1, we have y is equal to ax plus x squared. And now we know the value for a. So we can replace the value for a in equation 1. Now let's go. Equation 1, we have y is equal to ax plus x squared. So in place of a, let's replace it with this value that we have now okay so that means we're going to have y is equal to dy dx minus 2x in bracket x plus x squared okay so let's use this x to open the bracket when we have x multiplied by dy dx we're going to give us dy dx in bracket x and then when we say x multiplied by minus 2x it's going to give us minus 2x squared then we have plus x squared. All right? Good. We have minus 2x squared plus x squared. So when we say minus 2x squared plus x squared, it's going to give us minus x squared. So here we have y is equal to x dy dx minus x squared. From here, let's move everything to one side and rearrange them based on the number of degree. Okay? So when we move and rearrange, we are going to have x dy dx minus x squared minus y equal to 0. Here we have what? x dy dx minus x squared minus y equal to 0. Right? Good. Please, I want you to solve this by yourself and see if it will give you the same result. Now, let's see number 2. Number 2. Here we have y is equal to a sine 3x plus b. All right. Here we have two constants involved. That means we're going to differentiate these two times. 
okay now let's call this equation one so we have y is equal to a sine open bracket 3x plus b let's differentiate this for the first time when we differentiate it for the first time we're going to have dy dx equal to in the right hand side we're going to have 3a cos 3x plus b hello i know some of us may be confused here but if you know your differentiation very well you see that you'll not be confused here okay so we have lessons on differentiation we have our product rule chain rule quotient rule and all that please i want you to study them very well before diving into ordinary differential equation to be very simple if you revise your differentiation okay good Please, this is what we have. You differentiate sine 3x plus b using chain rule. That is, you are going to say, let everything in the bracket, 3x plus b, let it be called a letter, maybe t, and then you differentiate that one different, and then differentiate the new sine t different. You get it? Uh -huh. You know the way you do it. Now, let's go. We have dy ds is equal to 3a cos 3x plus b. Is that true? Yes. Now, we call this equation 2. Let's differentiate this again. When we differentiate this for the second time, we are going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to, we are going to have minus 9a sine, open bracket, 3x plus b. The same thing we did in the first differentiation is the same thing we did here. But in this time around, we have cos x and when we differentiate cos it's going to give us negative so we have minus 9a sine open bracket 3x plus b all right yes now in this equation in this last equation let's call it equation 3 so in this equation 3 if you look at it very well it looks similar to equation 1 so but the difference is minus 9 let's factor out minus 9 and put it in one side we're going to have d squared y all over d x squared is equal to minus 9 in bracket a sine 3x plus b minus 9 open bracket a sine 3x plus b all right yes so here we have a sine 3x plus b which is the same value that we have in equation one so we're going to substitute for y. So in place of a sine 3x plus b, we're going to replace it with y. So we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 9y. Because y is equal to a sine 3x plus b. So let's take minus 9y to the other side. We're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus 9y is equal to 0 right yes this is the differential equation corresponding to y is equal to a sine 3x plus b all right yes let's go number three number three we have y is equal to a plus b exponential minus 2x let's pay attention to this how many constant do we have we have two a and b right good Let's try to eliminate this A and B. That means we're going to differentiate two times. So the first time, let's call this equation, equation 1. Y is equal to A plus B exponential minus 2X. Let's call it equation 1. Let's differentiate for the first time. When we differentiate for the first time, we're going to have dy dx is equal to, when we differentiate A, it's going to give us 0. And then we'll differentiate b exponential minus 2x. It's going to give us minus 2b exponential minus 2x. Is that true? Yes. Good. So we call this equation 2. So the first differentiation or the first derivative, we have dy dx is equal to minus 2b exponential minus 2x okay good let's differentiate this again that is the second time we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to when we differentiate minus 2b exponential minus 2x you know this minus 2 is going to come down 
and multiply minus 2 okay now when you have minus 2 times minus 2 it's going to give us plus 4 and then we have b exponential minus 2x is that true yes so we call this equation 3 so equation 3 after when we differentiate the second time we have d squared y all over dx squared equal to 4 b exponential minus 2x this is all high right good let's see what we are going to do again in this equation 3 let's write this equation 3 like this d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 2 open bracket minus 2 b exponential minus 2 you know when you say minus 2 times minus 2b exponential minus 2x is going to give you the same thing in equation 3 is that true yes now as we split this into two we discover that we are having exactly the same value that we have in equation 2 the same value that we have in equation what 2 in equation 2 we have dy dx is equal to minus 2b exponential minus 2x and then in equation 4 here we have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 2 open bracket minus 2b exponential minus 2x so in the place of this minus 2b exponential minus 2x we can replace it with the value we have in equation 2 that means here we're going to substitute equation 2 in equation 4 okay we're going to replace minus 2b exponential minus 2x with the value we have in equation 2. So when we do so, we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 2, open bracket. In place of minus 2b exponential minus 2x, we replace it with dy dx. Okay, good. Now, as we replace it, let's remove the bracket that means we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 2 dy dx let's take this to the other side we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus 2 dy dx equal to 0 all right yes so this is the differential equation of the function y is equal to a plus b exponential minus 2x all right yes let's take number four number four we have y is equal to exponential minus 3x y is equal to exponential minus 3x so let's call this equation one let's call this equation one now let's differentiate when we differentiate we're going to have dy dx equal to minus 3 exponential minus 3x minus 3 exponential minus 3x okay good now here let's call this equation 2 okay as we call this equation 2 let's factor minus 3 out now here we're going to have dy dx is equal to minus 3 open bracket exponential minus 3x we'll call this equation 3 so we'll look at this equation 3 and equation 1 they are almost the same so here we're going to replace exponential minus 3 with another value found in equation 1 that means we're going to substitute equation 1 into 3 okay so here we're going to have dy dx is equal to minus 3y so we replace exponential minus 3x with y because in equation one we say that y is equal to exponential minus 3x okay so as we replace it we have dy dx is equal to minus 3y let's take minus 3y to the other side we're going to have dy dx plus 3y is equal to zero all right yes now let's take the last one number five we have y is equal to cos 4x y is equal to cos 4x 
So let's call this equation 1. Okay, good. Let's differentiate it for the first time. When we differentiate it for the first time, we're going to have dy dx is equal to minus 4 sine 4x. Hello? We're going to have minus 4 sine 4x. Now, if you want to differentiate this cos 4x, we're going to replace 4x. We're going to say let 4x be called a letter t. That means we're going to have cos t. Now, in that place, you say let t equal to 4x. Differentiate t with respect to x. That is going to have 4. And then when you differentiate cos t, it's going to give us minus sine t. You get it? So that is you differentiate the function y with respect to t. You get it? And you differentiate t with respect to x. When you bring the two differentiation together or the two derivatives together, you're going to have d all over the x is equal to d all over the t times the t all over the x. When you multiply both of them together, it's going to give you minus 4 sine 4x. Is that clear? Now let's continue. Here we have the all over the x is equal to minus 4 sine 4x. Let's differentiate this again. We're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 16 cos 4x. Going to give us minus 16 cos 4x. Let's factor out minus 16. We're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus 16 open bracket cos 4x. So cos 4x, let's replace it with the value y. Because in equation 1, we have y is equal to cos 4x. So replacing it, we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared is equal to minus 16y. Let's take minus 16y to the other side. We're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus 16y is equal to 0. All right? Yes, this is the differential equation corresponding to y is equal to cos 4x. Is that clear? Yes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Like and share our videos. Stay blessed.